I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this version, there is a link in the video description below to a lesson playlist. This exercise is a little advanced. I call it Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories and force hands in just these categories. This is a great exercise if you tend to play your favorites. It's also a great exercise if you like to play in special events like tournaments where they have prizes for the first hand in each category on the card. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to force these categories. Let's roll to see which player we are. I rolled a four. We're going to be north. Player four. North is player four. I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a dragon, pair of threes, pung of fours, eight bam. So we have six bams. Then we have three, seven, and cracks, two, four, five, nine, and dots. Pair of three bams, pung of four bams. We're to force like numbers, addition, and singles in pairs. If this were your dealt hand, which of these would you force? with these tiles and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would force like numbers, but I would keep the threes. If we get a four crack, and a green dragon, maybe we could switch to the 3-4 pair hand. That would be the second from the bottom under singles and pairs. Like numbers with fours would use the pung. And then we have threes. So we could maybe even do like numbers with threes. So let's discard these tiles and out of these we can create a pass. Let's see if we can give up a year tile in here. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. This will be good for the next pass, maybe, if we get everything we want. Let's pass these. We got a three, like numbers with threes, maybe. Let's pass these. A three, like numbers with threes. I think that's what I would focus on. Or maybe a pair hand, if we can get the right dragons. Let's pass these three. Whoa, like numbers. We're forcing like numbers though in three, four, probably. This is really risky here. I would give up on something. I think I would break up the fours and keep the threes. We have two multiples. So let's pass. One of each suit. There's a dragon. 
four, nine, we'll pass these. There's another dragon, two, nine, I try not to pass your tiles together if I don't have to. This is not too bad. A three. There's our hand right there. Four discards. Like numbers with threes. You know what? We get an optional cross. I almost forgot. We'll pass these or negotiate. We'll negotiate these. Nope, no keepers. Like numbers with threes. You know what? Maybe we could play a pair hand. Two, three, dragon, two, three, dragon. We don't have flowers though. So we have nine tiles to a pair hand with a gap versus the same nine tiles with no gaps. I would go with no gaps, like numbers. We have a flower, north, east, south, pair of east, two, three, seven, nine, no multiples, five, six in bams, two, six, eight in cracks. So no multiples with dots, bams, cracks. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would force a pair hand. News with twos or news with sixes. News with twos or sixes. I would pass these. We got a one, a dragon, addition. We do have addition on here too, and we did get a flower. Five, seven, let's pass these. We have a seven and a nine and a dragon. We could do like numbers with sevens. News with sevens, let's pass these. We got a two. I would focus on twos. You know, I think I would put, break up the like numbers. We got another flower. Oh, we got a north. Oh, that's good. I would keep the flowers back. 
pass these ones one of each suit we got another flower oh I would stick with a pair hand news with twos and I would negotiate two We have six discards. If we had a West, we would have no gaps. I think that wasn't too bad. It could have been better. Singles and pairs, news with twos. That addition category might have been good with all those flowers, but we didn't have any multiples coming through, I don't think. We're going to make it work. I rolled a seven. One, three, five, seven would be player three. Jokers, flower, red dragon, pair of these, two crack, one seven eight and bams, one two four and dots. The only addition tiles that we have would be seven eight one two, seven eight one two. So we're going to need obviously fives. We'll see what comes through. We'll hold the ones, twos, seven, eight. Hopefully we'll get threes and fives just so that we have options. Now I would not pass this. I would break that up. Let's give up the dragon. We don't need that dragon. I don't know why I kept that. We're gonna pass these. We got a five, seven, five, seven, 12. Five, seven, twelve. Here's five, seven, twelve mixed suits. We'll keep them. Let's pass these. Six. We could do five, six, eleven. Let's pass these. Seven flower five seven twelve. Let's give up on these seven. Let's keep the twelve and give up the seven. If we get a five bam, we could use those. We got a five dot and a one bam. Let's keep it. Another flower. This is why you don't want to pass flowers. So we have five, seven, twelve. Really, we're kind of in between. I think I gave up a two bam. Did we give up a two bam? I don't remember. Let's pass one blind. 
we got a five. We can pass fully multiples. Optional cross. No keepers. Three discards. This hand is set. We can Kong here, here, and here, ready to win on a one. For addition. Two out of three ain't bad. I think the first force and the third force could have been winners. That second one was terrible. I think six discards and all those flowers forcing a pair hand, that was rough. It's a great exercise, just the same. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try yourself and let me know if it forces you to play categories that you might not normally think about. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.